Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Onyx360 here, coming at you with a new video. In today's video, we got some more gameplay here on the slab. Um, guys, really, frankly, I'm sorry for, you know, not uploading for the last two days. Um, I had to take care of a couple things, uh, including school and also some things in my personal life. So, um, you know, I'm sorry that I didn't upload and I'm back on my regular schedule because this whole week I am off for, you know, President's Day and I guess President's Week. Um, but, you know, none of you guys in the UK have any idea what I'm talking about right now. So let's just move on to what you guys want to hear about, and that is the DLC right here as I kill myself. Um, so anyway, uh, the DLC is called Forces of Nature because obviously what you guys have expected already, that all the maps have some f element that has, you know, them has torn through the area and is making them, you know, has affected the gameplay in a sense. Uh, we'll get into that in a little while. Um, so just to get started, it's going to come out on March 27th and is going to be 800 Microsoft points. Um, the five new maps are Artillery, Jacinto, Raven Down, Cove, and Aftermath. Um, you know, I do like that they're bringing back Jacinto. Uh, Jacinto was my favorite map in Gears of War 2, I have to say, and I thought it was really nice. I just thought it was really, you know, well-balanced, and, you know, it was a great map to uh, post up on and, you know, have great GB matches on and everything like that. So I'm really happy that they're bringing that back. Um, Raven Down, not so much. I have to say, in Gears of War 1, it was a bit campy here and there, unless, you know, you got ran into, like, some hardcore players or anything like that, but, um, yeah, it was a bit campy, and, uh, you know, I don't see it changing in Gears of War 3, because, you know, small maps, such as Mercy, be do tend to be, you know, more campy, um, so, you know, we'll see how that plays out, but anyway, let's just move right on, um, for all you guys that play Horde, um, Horde's gonna get a little update, it says here that, Horde is going to receive new cleavers called Element Cleavers. Um, for example, um, there's going to be a cleaver called an Emulsion Cleaver. And every time you pick that up, you have to, uh, when you swing it, it'll explode the enemy on impact. Uh, but there's one catch. These cleavers, they said, are actually hidden very well. Um, some of them will have to be found used, like going through like an Easter egg and everything like that. So I don't know how much... Um, is going to be centered around them. In total, there's going to be 250 new achievement points, and some of them are going to re be related um, to these elemental cleavers. So, uh, you know, it's definitely something that you're going to see a lot of on YouTube, you know, people trying to find these things and people trying to get the achievements with them. Um, anyway, going to move right on. We're also getting four new characters, and I'm actually really happy for two of them that they're bringing back, not so much for the other two. Um, the two I'm happy for are Savage Grenadier Elite and Mechanic Baird. Uh, Mechanic Baird, I really want to play as. I think he just looks awesome. And also Savage Grenadier Elite. Possibly the rarest character to see in the game. Um, you know, I don't... I think you had to get by the... Pre-order the game at Walmart. And Walmart actually had the least number of um, pre-orders in the country. Out of any store that had a pre-order deal. So, uh, yeah, he is the rarest character. And I cannot wait to play as him. And, you know, just like in the last map pack... Phoenix Rising, they're also going to have different colors from their original um, pre-order uh, skins. So they're not going to be the exact same colors as the people that got them for pre-ordering the game. Um, going back to the maps, like I said in the beginning of the video, these maps are all about, you know, the weather and how they change over time. For example, Aftermath, it's in the middle of, like, um, it's after a tsunami, not in the middle of it, sorry. Uh, it's after a tsunami, and actually, um, the map shakes violently for after an earthquake. And um, there's actually water that rises. But, you know, I'm not actually too excited about that because it says here that it makes it very hard to aim. So I'm not really sure how much that's going to play into the gameplay. Um, you know, I'm not really one, you know, to be, you know, messing up my aim. You know, I hate that. Like, um, I know Overpass doesn't do it that much. But, you know, once in a while it will when the map sinks just a little bit. Um, but it says here that it actually does shake very violently. So I don't know what that's going to happen. Um, artillery, um, I guess the guy from Trenches just wanted to troll on us a little bit more. The, uh, it says here, dust and debris are kicked up, making it difficult to see, and the buff buffeting winds can mask your approach. Uh, yeah, they're not masking my approach, they're just making me want to throw my controller across the room because I don't like not being able to see my hand in front of my face. Um, so yeah, and also he must have trolled on the map Cove because there's going to be uh, dust and debris the entire map because it says here that the fog is very thick um, So, you know that that's definitely gonna play into the gameplay, but also cove is actually they said it's very sniper centered uh, There's actually a sniper's nest, but there's a light that always shines on it So we'll see how that plays into the gameplay and right here. I'm looking at a picture I could see a guy holding a boom shot and it's located right in the center of the map So, you know, that'll definitely obviously play a uh, 
a big role in the gameplay because you guys know already you know you know epic you know been with, through this with three games epic always puts the big the best power weapon in the middle of the map you know it just makes sense you know give each team the opportunity to get it um other than that guys um nothing really much else um the weapon skins there's gonna be seven new ones actually five of them you unlock as soon as you buy the map pack the ones i'm looking at right here are only two i see an orange one and also a yellow and pink one um, the yellow and pink one looks okay. I mean, I'm not going to probably, what is it called? Lemonade skin or something? I don't know what the hell it's going to be called, but I'm not probably going to be one to use it. Um, the orange one actually does look really sick because it, sick it has a sick gloss to it. Um, but anyway, guys, that's been it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. going to be back on my regular schedule. And also, if you guys haven't noticed already, I boxed a new channel on my page. It's called Gears of War Supermans of the Day. Um, actually, I decided to start that page up myself, so if that link will be in the description if you guys want to check out that page. Uh, every day, um, I'll be uploading a new Superman, um, so they're going to be pretty ridiculous. And uh, if you guys want to submit a clip to that, you know, just remember to send the, uh, the video as an unlisted YouTube video to my channel or as a GameFront link, and I'll uh, see if you get it up there. Anyway, guys, it's been Monix360. Peace out.